In this video, we solve the second numerical of steam turbines. So compared to the last numericals, in these numericals, the value of Vb is not given. Okay, so in the last numericals, the velocity of blade is given. But in this numerical, the blade velocity is not given. So we also need to calculate the blade velocity in this numerical. So first we understand the problem statement. Steam is issue from the nozzle at an angle of 22 degree. Means the angle of the nozzle is 22 means alpha is equal to 22 and the velocity of steam is 450 meter per second means v1 is given that is a 450 meter per second the friction factor is 0 0.86 a single state turbine is designed at for maximum efficiency and we need to calculate first blade velocity blade velocity means vb second the moving blade angle for equiangular blades. Moving blade angle means the inlet and outlet angle of the blade and this inlet and outlet angle means theta and phi. And what is the meaning of equiangulars? The theta and phi both are same. Third parameter we need to calculate maximum blade efficiency. Fourth parameter stage efficiency if the nozzle efficiency is 94%. Means stage efficiency is the multiplication of the nozzle efficiency and the blade efficiency. And last one is the power developed for a mass flow rate of 5 kg per second. Means we need to calculate the power P. And for that the mass flow rate of the steam is given that is a 5 kg per second. Now first we write down this given data. First one is the alpha is given 22 means nozzle angle. Second is the velocity of steam 450 meter per second that is a V1 is given and the friction factor K is given that is a 0 0.86. Another is the nozzle efficiency is given 94% and the mass flow rate is given 5 kg per second. And what to find out? First we need to find out blade velocity Vb. Then second theta and phi both are the same. Third one is the blade efficiency. Fourth one is the stage efficiency. And fifth one is the power develop. Now, for solve these numericals, we require the basic knowledge of the velocity triangle and the basic knowledge of the trigonometry. That is, a, what is the sine theta, cos theta, and the tan theta's equation. So, if you know these two things, you can easily solve these numericals. Now, first we solve the inlet velocity triangles. Okay, so here you see. This is the inlet velocity triangle and this part is the outlet velocity triangles. So here you see in this given data, alpha is given and the V1 is given. Means here you see this alpha angle and this V1 is given. So by using these two parameters, we are able to calculate the VW1, VF1. Okay. So by using these equations of the cos alpha, sin alpha and the tan alpha, we can solve these triangles. Okay. So first we solve these triangles by using these various equations. So first we use the equation of the sin alpha. Okay, so what is the sin alpha? Sin alpha means opposite side that is a Vf1 divided by hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is the V1. Now we have the value of alpha that is a 22. We have value of V1 that is a 450. So we are able to find out the Vf1. So sin 22 into 450. Then we get the answer of Vf1. So Vf1 is equal to 168.57 meter per second. Now second we find out this Vw1. Okay, for finding out this Vw1, we have a two options. Okay, so in the last video, we find out the Vw1 by using this equation of the cos alpha. Okay, that is a cos alpha is equal to Vw1 divided by V1. But here we use the equation of the tan alpha. So tan alpha is equal to opposite side divided by this adjacent opposite side is the vf1 and the adjacent is the vw1 okay or instance of this equation we can also able to use the cos alpha means cos alpha is equal to vw1 divided by v1 okay so we can use any equation we get the same answers okay so here we use the equation of the tan alpha so instance of alpha we putting this value that is a 22 Vf1 we already calculate that is 168.57. Okay, so we are able to find out this Vw1. So Vw1 is equal to 417.32 meter per second. So you can try by using these equations of the cos alpha, you can get the same answers.
Now, blade speed ratio is given by an equation. Means there is a two equation for the blade speed ratio. Blade speed ratio is denoted as the rho. Okay, so first equations of the blade speed ratio is v b upon v one. Okay, and from this equation we can derive this equation that is a cos alpha by two. So these are the two equations of the blade speed ratio. Okay. So we know the value of alpha that is 22. We know the value of v1. So we are able to find out this vp. Okay. So we putting this value, cos 22 divided by 2 is equal to vb upon v1. Okay. So value of v1 is 450. So we are able to find out this vb. Vb is equal to 208.61 meter per second. Okay. So in the last numericals, the value of vb is directly given. So in some numericals, value of vb is not given. So by using these equations, you are able to find out this value of vb. Now, so this triangle is over. Means first triangle that is the alpha angle triangle is over. Okay. Now we use this triangle to find out these further parameters. Further parameter means we find out this what is the theta and what is the vr one. So now tan theta is equal to vf one divided by This portion CD that is adjacent of this theta. Okay, so this CD is equal to the VW one minus VB. Okay, so why we use the equation of the tan theta? Because here we are not know the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse means we are not knowing this VR one. Okay, so we only know the two side that is adjacent and the opposite side. So by default we just we need to use the equation of the tan theta. Okay, so tan theta is equal to this equation. So we putting this value of VF one. Then after we putting this value of VW ones and the value of VP, then we are able to find out this theta. So tan theta is equal to 0.808. Then after theta is equal to tan inverse 0.808, then we get this answer. Theta is equal to 38.945. Okay, and in this calculate portion, second point they mention that is the equiangular blade means theta and phi are same. Okay, so value of theta and phi both are the 38.94 degree. Now we calculate this V R one by using these equations. So we can use the any equation related to the sine theta or cos theta. Okay, by using the both the equation, we are able to find out V R. Now before moving ahead, I request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to power plant engineering and other subject of this mechanical engineering. For power plant engineering, various link is provided in descriptions as well as in a. Car. For other subject, I request to visit the playlist. Now, we calculate this V R one means the relative velocity. So here I use the equation that is the sine theta is equal to V F one divided by V R one means it is the sine theta is equal to opposite side divided by hypotenuse. You can also use the equation of the cos theta. Cos theta is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. Adjacent is here the V W one minus V B. Okay, and the hypotenuse is the V R one. So V R one is equal to V F one divided by sine theta. So value of the V F one that we already find out that is a one hundred sixty eight point fifty seven. Theta we already calculate that is a thirty eight point ninety four. Okay, just we calculate and we get this answer of V R one. That is a two hundred sixty eight point twenty meter per seconds. So here we are find out all the parameters of inlet velocity triangles. Now we need to find out the Out parameters of outlet velocity triangles. So first, we need to calculate this V R two by using this equation of the K. Because here you see that is a no any parameter is given for the outlet velocity triangle. So we at least require one velocity and one angle to calculate the remaining parameters. Okay. So we, in a calculate that is a theta and phi same is given. So we know the value of phi. Okay. We are not knowing any other velocities. So we need to calculate this V R two by using this equation of the K. K is equal to V R two upon V R one, and here we already putting this value of V R one, that is a two hundred sixty eight point twenty. So what is the answer of V R two? V R two is equal to two hundred thirty point sixty five meter per second. Okay. So now we know the two parameters. So by using these two parameters, we are able to find out all other parameters. Okay. So just we calculate this V W two because other parameter is not required to find out this. Power, blade efficiency, and the stage efficiency. So we solve this triangle that is a DEF. Okay. So we apply this equation of the cos phi because we need to calculate this V W two. And when we apply this equation of the cos phi, this side is coming because cos phi is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So adjacent is the 
VW2 plus VB. So here we mention cos phi is equal to VW2 plus VB divided by hypotenuse that is a VR2. Now we know the value of phi, it is 38.94. VW2 that we need to calculate. VB we already find out it is a 208.61 divided by relative velocity at the outlet that is VR2 230.65 and we get this answer VW2 is equal to minus 28.6 meter per second okay so we are not required this parameter vf2 and this v2 okay so we are not calculate it now third parameter we need to calculate maximum blade efficiency so equation of the maximum blade efficiency is the cos square alpha okay so our value of the alpha is 22 so it is a cos square 22 we get the answer that is a 0 0.8594 so it's equal to 85.97 percentage four parameter is the stage efficiency so stage efficiency means what is the one stage one step is equal to the combination of nozzle and blade okay so here we know the efficiency of the blade and the nozzle efficiency is already given so we multiply this both the efficiency then we are able to find out the stage efficiency so stage efficiency is equal to blade efficiency so what is value it is 0 0.8597 nozzle efficiency is the 0.94 so we get the stage efficiency it is the 80.81 means we get the answer 0 0.8081 we multiplied with the 100 then we get the it is the answer is 80.81 and the last parameter is the power develop p so power develop p is equal to mass into wall velocity into blade velocity divided by 1000 so mass is given 5 Okay, VB we calculate 208.61 and we already calculate VW1 and the VW2. Okay, so here we need to mention the VW. So VW is the summation of the VW1 plus VW2. Okay, so here we replace this equation VW is equal to VW1 plus VW2. Just we putting this value mass is equal to 5, VW1 417.32, VW2 is the minus 28.6 value of the VB is the 208.61 divided by 1000 we calculate it and get the answer the power is equal to 405 kilowatt so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video subscribe my channels and don't forget to share with your friends